Okay guys, I'm feeling pretty fertile today, so I decided to make another video right away, and what we've got here is the first time ever I platooned with an M41 Bulldog. Uh, his name is Drillgren from Stash. Uh, this could be described as a case of Mr. Blue taking a chance on Mr. Green and Mr. Red. That's me, the tomato. Uh, the point I want to illustrate in this fight is uh, the fact that there's a pretty lucrative target over there for any scout. There's a tier 9 arty and two tier 7 arties, and it's very important to uh, light them up at the earliest possible moment. Uh, the problem for the scout, of course, is where do you make your breakthrough and when do you make your breakthrough? Uh, so many scouts in this game uh, have a terrible time with that. They, uh, they go in the wrong place or, or too early and sometimes way too late. Uh, so my entire focus in this fight from the very beginning, aside from you know doing the usual scouting moves to light people up, uh, my laser-like focus is uh, you know I want to get that breakthrough. And fortunately, uh, the Centurion 7-1, I believe, uh, revealed to me uh, the likely uh, breakthrough point, and uh, the best one probably on this map in my historical experience is around E6. Uh, you can't usually flank them because there's vehicles almost always. There are vehicles uh, guarding the end of the aqueduct. Going down at the bottom of the gravity well through the valley is a very bad idea. In fact, I would describe it as stupid because you can't accelerate out of danger. Uh, if you're up in the air uh, on countless occasions, I've, I've just turned downhill, accelerated far in excess of my... Um, uh, regulation velocity you know you can on some hills you can go upwards of 90 kilometers an hour and even with the improvement in shooting accuracy in world of tanks beginning with patch 8.6 and various uh, tweaks of that in subsequent patches they have a hard time hitting you and provided you uh, avoid the uh, the rough patches and break your, and don't break your tracks you should be uh, pretty safe so I'm gonna hit the space bar here and we'll just advance the battle at regular speed and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to do my usual scouting stuff, but this entire time I'm, uh, you know, I'm hoping for the uh, breakthrough possibility at the earliest possible moment. And uh, in my scouting guide from long ago, uh, I did talk about the concept of uh, shooting through the scout. And I believe the uh, Centurion 7-1 up there is the person that uh, did that for me, and I'm very grateful. Uh, you know, th he's scouting for me. This is this is you know this is an important point uh, that your teammates, they they have eyes too, and they they can reveal to you the place to advance. Uh, you know, it's say what I call safe ground revealed. So, uh, the bulldog is about to have an epic fight there, and he gets knocked down to two percent, and but manages to survive by keeping his distance from people, and shooting at range. So, this is my first. Uh, advance or possible advance you know I, I really want those uh, those guys to get right to the edge of the village to give me an indication of what lies behind there so like I said th that area up there is highly contested uh, in, on, in, on, in most battles and as I also said there's no way I'm going down the valley uh, you know I just uh, think it's stupid so I'm coming this way. Uh, there's the bulldog. He's been docked down to 2%. So he has to be super careful, but he did manage to survive, which is great. And now I'm going this way again. And look at the centurion in the town. Right? This I'm getting I even told Casey Bay that uh, I thought that uh, this looked like the moment and even the IS6 is helping me and the 8.8 .8 right there. Their their visual uh, apparatus is peering through the buildings. And, uh, like I said, this is to all timing, and I said, this is it, I gotta go do it. And away we go here, you know, it's a little awkward trying to accelerate through all this crap. So there we are. And, uh, look. Zilch. So I do get hit by the Tiger P. And I'm trying to zigzag a bit, you know, this is no T-50, which could wiggle like crazy. So let's look, he hits me with the I don't know if that's an amazing shot but he did pretty good and away we go here now uh, another important point here is I do not want to die by doing by stopping to shoot people and uh, you know uh, 
neglecting the safety of my tank. So, you know, there's a problem there. That AC-48 is over there. You know, that's really awkward for me. So I'm going to just drive around as crazy as I can. Uh, like I said, this is no T-50. There's a shot just missed, him, missed me. And I guess he's pointed my way, so i got to accelerate this way. And, uh, you know, like I say, <laughs> this is... This is really awkward uh, to trying to stay alive here. There's the M53, which is great. I suspected he was in that gully. So I'm just driving like crazy, like I say. And uh, we got one of them down. And uh, there's another shot from the 48. And uh, the Bulldog is still up there. He's probably got decent camo, so he can shoot possibly without being seen. Or maybe his crew is all camoed up. I don't know. And unfortunately, uh, you know, at our base, you know, this is uh, the tragedy of the pub. Um, our arties are all dead too. So uh, I don't know how to how to organize that in a public match where we don't have voice comms that we can't assign roles. So. Um, you know, that is a problem. Okay, the Bulldog got both the GW Panther and the AC-46. And this guy, uh, let's uh, switch to the fixed camera. I think I got a snapshot. Yeah, not bad. So now, um, you know, uh, what, what's the oldest saying? Fortune favors the brave. They're a little bit out of position over there. And, uh, you know, uh, there's countless battles where... Uh, vehicles are too far they fought too far away from from the cap area and uh, they can't return in time and we've got people blocking uh, the approaches and the panther 2 is thoughtfully creeping forward to help me here so uh, on uh, Westfield uh, I think I illustrated uh, the best breakthrough point of them all for the scout. I, I, it seems to work better going this way where I am now than going the other way. Um, that has to do, I think, with the, uh, the, the sight lines on the scout that breaks through. It's easier for me here than it is on the other side of the map. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and a shout out there to Thompsonius and the 8.8 uh, for uh, and the IS-6 for advancing just far enough to give me an indication that that was the breakthrough point. So they get scout medal as far as I'm concerned in this one.